Yes, people, what is good? Natscape here. I'm back once again. And today I wanted to do a bit of a follow up from the last video. If you have not seen the last video, please go and check that now before you watch this one. So obviously in the last video, me and my friends climbed genuinely the tallest crane that was in the entire United Kingdom. <laughs> At the point that we sat on, that crane, I think, was maybe like five meters shorter than the top of the shard. It's a mission that me and my friends literally dreamt of for maybe two years, walking through London, seeing it get built, seeing it get higher and higher and higher. Eventually, one day, we plucked up the courage and we thought, fuck it, we're gonna send it. And yeah, you guys saw exactly what happened. We managed to do it and it was by far, I would say top three most incredible experiences that I've ever had in the city. And I've done some mad shit. I've been at the top of Canary Wharf. I've climbed the tallest chimney in Europe. I've gone into underground cities underneath Manchester. But genuinely, this was something, it was just so special to us, man. And like to dream of such a mission for so long and then to finally be able to pull it off, there's no words to describe the feeling that it gave us. And yeah, I'm just blessed to be able to have done that. So the reason that I wanted to make this video is as you have seen by the title, a lot of people were asking, how did we get down? Cause there is a scene in the video, we get to the hatch of the crane. As soon as we get to the hatch, we realize that it is padlock shut. Now this does happen quite a lot in London. A lot of the regulations say that it needs to be locked whenever the, whenever the operator comes down, he needs to lock it. So like people like us can't get up there. So we're pretty much left with no other option, but to climb around it. And that basically involved literally climbing almost like hanging upside down and climbing over an overhang on the side of the crane which is definitely the sketchiest option possible but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do especially when you've gone that far you've been waiting for this moment for so long there was nothing that was going to stop me from getting to the top of that crane arm we're going to the top mate I'm sitting on the top of that crane. So obviously you saw we climbed round, we climb up the arm, we get to the top, we're chilling, we're doing our thing. And then the video ends. And one of the main comments that I got was, how the hell did you get down? Did you have to do the climb again? Did you have to climb the overhang down? Blah, 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 blah. So today I'm gonna be resolving that for you because I did film the climb down. So without further ado, I'm gonna play the video and let you guys see how we got down the crane. Oh my God. That is it, tallest crane in London, completed. Let's get out of here, let's go. What is happening, man? speechless tallest crane in london finish man done what the fuck all right the sun is completely up over london now we need to get out of the asap oh. Now this is where we get to the bottom of the crane arm and we kind of realize that the only way that we're gonna get down is that we have to do the overhang, but go in the other way. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this, but essentially all we had to do was do exactly what we did coming up, but completely in reverse and yeah, do it coming back down. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch this. So 
yeah, that was probably the hardest part of the descent and the most scary. But once that was done, now it was the case of getting down to the ground without running into workers and without running into security and getting out on the road with our freedom intact. One of the main reasons that this building was such a sketchy mission to do and that it was so scary is that this building was probably one of the most iconic building projects in the city of London at the time. Not only that, but the city of London is actually classed as its own separate city. So it actually has its own police that enforced that area. And essentially what it meant was if you do get caught, pretty much 100% you are gonna be spending a night in the cell, which none of us wanted to do. So we had to make sure that we were absolutely silent and we got out of this climb with our freedom. Oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh my god. Speechless. Speechless. Right there. Jesus, man. <laughs> that is how you do a mission. You get in and you get out without being seen. Any YouTuber, any rooftopper, any content creator that does rooftopping and makes it the aim to get caught. You need to think, man. You need to switch up. That was absolutely insane. Peace out, guys. And there we go, guys. That is the story of how we managed to climb one of the tallest cranes in London and get away with it. Obviously, you guys know that I don't really do this type of content anymore, and there are a few reasons for that. As you guys probably saw at the start of the video, one of my best friends, Johnny Turner, passed away, and it was actually involving an incident to do with climbing. So, as you guys can probably tell, um, it kind of affected my whole, not my outlook on it, but the way that I saw it affect me, my friends, my family, Johnny's friends and his family. It kind of made me realize that this isn't a game. Like this is real, real shit. Obviously I still do rooftop climbing and stuff, but I do it the safest way that I possibly can. And I just don't like to post it as much. It's just not really something that I do. And honestly, this YouTube channel has always been and will always be me documenting the stuff that I enjoy and showing it to you guys. That's what I want to do. I want to express myself and I want to share my life with you guys. And if I'm not climbing much, then there's not really much content to make. So I hope you guys understand that and I hope we can move forward. Um, and I hope you still enjoy my new content that I'm making. I'm doing loads of different type of stuff. I'm doing a lot of van videos a lot of traveling stuff and a lot of parkour content. And that's basically the main thing that I do right now is I train a lot of parkour. I love going out, jumping, making cool concept videos, doing like ultimate floor is lava. That's really what I enjoy doing. And it doesn't stress my family out. It doesn't give my mom pure anxiety every time I leave the house. Another main reason that I kind of stopped is this isn't a sustainable business model. When you actually think about it, like I was trying to make a career from infiltrating and sneaking into extremely high class, high security buildings. It's not something that can be done on a long-term scale. It's just not possible for it to be a main feature of this channel. I know you guys love the rooftop and content. I do too, but it's how life works, man. The one thing that you can guarantee in life is change. 
and change is always going to happen. But yeah, I'm still going to be pumping out content as much as I can because this is my passion. YouTube will always be my passion. I don't think I'll ever stop. Another thing as well is that I came very close to going to prison multiple times whilst I was deep in the rooftop and stuff. I had my entire house raided. I had all my electronics taken, my camera taken, my laptop taken, my phones taken. Even my mum's computer got taken. And for seven months, I was under investigation. I got arrested like 10, 12, 13 times. I spent countless nights in a cell. And yeah, sometimes you got to move on, guys. We all have to evolve. We all have to change. And yeah, I'm still going to be making content and just enjoying my life, bro, and documenting it. That's what I enjoy doing. That is my passion. I'm never going to stop. So if you guys want to join me on this journey, please drop a like. Please subscribe so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. Seriously, I love all of you. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be in the position that I'm in and experience this world in an amazing way and document it and create cool content. Because at the end of the day, that's what I want to do. I want to make content that inspires you guys to realize that you don't have to submit to the idea that society has taught us that you just have to grow up, get a job, go to uni, all this bullshit. You can genuinely live your lives in a way that you can make an impact and inspire others to do the same. So as long as I'm doing that, that's what makes me happy. Um, and I hope you guys can join me on this journey. But yeah, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.